5p series in 3 minutes for the first one right here we can actually just write the square root as the one half power so this is the same as the series as n goes from 1 to infinity 1 over n to the one half power and we see that here is the p which is 1 over 2 but you have to mention that this right here is less than or equal to 1 and you have to remember that this right here because it's less than or equal to 1 this diverges for the second one, we have the series, and then the starting value doesn't matter. Here we have 1 over n to the 17th power. As we can see, the p here is 17, which is bigger than 1, and therefore this right here converges. Unfortunately, we do not know what this converges to, but we just know that it does have a finite value. For this one, we can write the radical into the power form. So this right here, it's the same as series as n goes from 1 to infinity. When we have the fifth root right here, we are going to write this as n and then we have 4 over 5 power like this so you see that this is the power p which is 4 over 5 and because this is less than or equal to 1 therefore this right here diverges all right for number four we have the series of 1 over n to the ln2 power and you see that this right here is the power which is ln2 but let me tell you this is approximately 0 0.693 which we know is going to be less than or equal to 1. Therefore, this right here diverges, and then we are done. This one right here, I'm going to just multiply this and that together. Here we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity. We have 1 over. This is the 1 half power, and this is the first power. You add the powers up, so you get n to the 3 over 2 power. So as you can see, here is the power, which is 3 over 2, which is greater than 1. Therefore, this right here converges. Here we have two bonuses. We are going to give an example of a n so that for the first one, we want the series of a n and the series of a n squared both diverge. An example for that is that we can take a n to be 1 over n, but you have to make that square root. Why? Because if you take a look, this way, series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over square root of n, this right here diverges because p is 1 half, which is less than we equal to 1. And if you square this, this is just the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n. Both of them diverge, right? Because p is equal to 1 right here. Now for the second one, is it possible to have series of a n diverges, but the series of a n squared converges? Well, for this, I'll give you guys this example. Take a n to be 1 over n, because in that case, you can see the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n diverges. But when we square that, the p is going to be 2. So this right here actually converges now.